got loads of this weekend. This ain't gonna work. We'll take Mitch's car. Oh, this is not gonna work. Dude, both of our cars aren't running. What are we gonna do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am thinking what you're thinking. The Delica, yes! No! no! Dude, what are we gonna take? We need plan C. Boy, Nana died yesterday. Let's take her car. We could too. We could too. What are your shoes, mate? We found grandma's car. Look, she's dead. She's a bit stock. Oh, I thought you were my grandma. Oh yeah, she's dead. Yeah, she's anyway. dead, she don't need her anymore. Move and uh, we have an event to go to this weekend. That's four hour drive. Four hour drive, dirt roads, corrugations. She only ever takes this thing to bingo. So we're gonna give it a workout, but we're gonna need a few mods first. So let's rip into the shed and get it ready for this weekend of off-road outlaws. Let's pimp this ride. Pimp this ride. We got like two hours. So we pulled in this 1990 something Vitara. It's been in the family since when Nana bought it brand new. Never been off road, literally just took it to bingo and poker. Now that she's finally gone, we get to take the keys of this finally one. absolute gone. weapon. Got a bit of an oil leak, but hey, we'll fix that. Yes, we need to fix an oil leak. Other than that, it's immaculate. But this is what we are putting in it. Now, coincidentally, <laughs> it is kind of a really good start for anyone that wants to go camping. Uh, we've actually ended up with it's it. the best budget build ever. We've actually come up with the essentials. So, fridge for the beers, um, the Red Art Go Block will be powering that, and we've actually thrown in a <laughs> solar blanket that I had lying around just in case that gets used a bit more than just for the fridge. Uh, Max Trucks, obviously, we've got some recovery gear. There's some old ones we had lying around. We've got actual <coughs> recovery gear as well. A toolkit, um, that's from SP Tools, but they also have a jump pack as well because this thing, the battery isn't the best. I think the alternator's cooked. The alternator may be cooked. We may not make it, but we may <coughs> Neglected also make Neglected by it. Nana. Exactly. Uh, also, GME. We're going bush. We are going out to the boondalls. These where are essential, don't see people. remember. Not one, but two. <laughs> we've got two aerials, so if we ever get lost, we've got plenty of UHF reception. Exactly. It's like I said, this is the essentials you need to go forward driving. Two antennas, and we have a rooftop coming, which we'll be putting on as well. Hopefully. So we'll have sleeping arrangements, beers, fridge, power recovery gear, tools, communications, and then we just need bedding and clothes. And a car would not oil leak, so let's do this build, which is just putting everything in the car. We'll be away. <laughs> oh. mm. They get that bolted up and get the angle right. We are going to be able to talk to everybody. This is almost done, but SP Tools, you know that a company is built from mechanics when they build tools that actually make sense. You cannot get a normal spanner in there, but they make these little stubby spanners. And it actually is one of those times where you need one. Alrighty, we are, we've just installed our new aerials. We're gonna make sure our UHF works better now. Yeah, Cubby, Cubby. Yeah, all good, Calgary, mate. We're getting some range. Uh, Darwin, you got a Cubby? Oh, oh, mate, I'm off the golf for Darwin. We are from New Zealand there, Buzzer. You, uh, can you hear me from here, mate? Cheer, my brother. Cheer! <laughs> We couldn't get the tent time yesterday, so we've done a runner on the way down to Outlaws, pulled into Outback Tour because this is the icing on the cake. 
we thought the Vitara was bigger than it actually is. So we're like, why not throw a rooftop on it for this trip? And I think it's gonna look a little bit ridiculous. So I think we've got one in stock here and we're gonna try and stick it on our two little baby roof racks over there. She'll be right. Alright, there we have it. Now it looks like a proper tour. We got communication across the whole country. We can sleep anywhere. Look at that. Now we just need to uh, go get some food, some beers. Then we hit the road. We've got a four hour drive ahead of us. Um, out to Outlaws. Yes. And no one expects us to be bringing this car. So it's going to be a time. Actually looks legit. <laughs> just needs a little lift and it's a couple so of It's so big, God. <laughs> Weapon. update time we're in the middle of nowhere on our trip to nowhere got out for a wee stop and we smelt a horrendous burning kind of something seizing up sort of smell we made the executive decision to just not worry about it until something happens the motor's still in there that's all that matters the engine's still there, it's still there. it doesn't matter We just rocked up at Manor and we found the twins in their GQ. According to the schedule, there's 10 minutes left of the drag strip. We've been here for like five minutes, got our armbands, and we're going straight to the drag strip to see what she can do. All this still in the back. We haven't even taken it. That'll be fine, now. that'll be fine. Oh, by the way, so a bit of the layout, there's like literally every type of racing at this event. Um, so it's a massive event. It's sponsored by Superior Engineering. So big shout out to those boys for inviting us out. Um, and there's everything from Ultra 4, Com trucks, rock calling, winch trucks, enduro, side-by-sides, everything. And each day there's like a different version of competition to attend in. So this is the show and shine. All the cars are on display. We'll get some shots later. Um, and it's pretty much night time now. So tomorrow we'll get the camera out and film some of the uh, events. But Manor Park is massive. Is heaps of moto stuff too. So if you've got kids with dirt bikes, dedicated moto tracks, enduro tracks, um, there's a water slide. It's like a real kind of family fun place. Um, and a drag strip, which is where we're heading now. Ah, oh, wet the tires. Yeah, you gotta go no grip. Good. It's too dry. It's slippery. All right, this is what we're racing. Tell mate, us about it. Mate, so it is the finest oh, from 1991 NA TD42 OGQ it, versus the toughest touring rig I've ever seen. It's actually seen NA, which is good. What are your predictions? Probably that. I mean, we've got a full touring setup. Yeah, so we're, a tough tourer doesn't stand a chance. Probably way the same. This weekend, guys, is the Brisbane National 4x4 show, and it'll be the first time you can ever see Flexi, this car behind me. So if you want to head down, come say good day at us at the Build Not Bought stand. Use code BNB, there'll be a link down below to the website. Grab your tickets, and we'll see you this weekend. I smell clutch. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I can't believe we won, bro. Are you smoking? You joking? Dude, he was going that quick. He hit the brakes at the end because he was going too fast. Maybe you need I'm actually surprised by that. That's sick. Who's next? The next day. Right, it's the next morning. We are pleasantly got woken up at 5 to 5 a.m. from a few cars starting. So the six hour enduro is today. So these cars go flying around. They reckon they get in about six or seven laps from the 35K course. So we're gonna go have a look at a whoop section as they go past. There's a couple of spots where you can sort of spectate. Um, one near our camp, we heard them go by. But they're probably an oh, hour and a half into the track. So Pedro and I are just running up to a different spot to go over scoops. We'll get some shots. And then this afternoon, apparently, I will be driving a rock crawler along with... We all are, mate. Yeah. And well, they, look, they look serious. Yeah, like legit. We're talking individual braking wheels, 
rear steer, probably adjustable suspension, I don't know, we would. Yeah, know. like the air shocks. So yeah, all of us get to jump in and it's like a little influencer uh, competition slash experience. So we'll look forward to that wasabi. Dude, that was sick. Insane, them flying past, absolutely. Anyway, we're heading down to the river now because that's way more exciting. And uh, have a swim. It's about a half hour drive. Have you been there before? No, but Ryan has, so we're following right, We're following Ryan. This park is way bigger than you realize. Like, they went out to some waterfall or something and it was like a 45 minute drive. So hopefully it's not that far, but we'll see where it takes us. I don't wanna. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy! Way harder than it should have been. All right, we made it to the little river slash lake thing. It's actually not a bad spot. There's like beaches everywhere. Oh, he pulled a plug out. No. Oh, oh no. Wow, this is paradise. Chuck it to a city of a side. All right, pretty much wrapped up here. We've had a nice little relaxing time. I can't believe how early it still is because we've got woken up at bloody five to five from the race cars. It's kind of not even lunchtime yet, so we're gonna head back and have lunch there. But actually, the next thing this afternoon is when we get to drive the rock crawlers. So we're gonna jump in one of those cars and drive the, they call it the waterfall mountain thing. So let's go do that. Also for Superior Engineering, we've been testing the durability of the EcoX speaker. And today's one, is the big boom box and it's it's out outdone itself. We're about to send it down the rapids. Music's still playing, which I can't really show you because of copyright, but here we go. Music's still cranking. All right, here we are at the uh, rock crawling event. I'm absolutely knackered if I'm like not very energetic right now. It's been a massive day, but I'm wearing shoes. You don't see that very often. They're not mine, they're my brother's because obviously I don't own a pair of shoes. But that is because we are apparently getting a run in one of the comp trucks, which is cool. Now my plan is like, I assume they're gonna put out a course for all the influencers, but I don't wanna try and drive it good. My plan is to try and drive it straight to see what the car can do because I've been told these things are like point and shoot. They got rear steer, lockers, front and rear drive shaft disconnect, like everything. So this, ready for this will turn around. This is what we're driving up. Holy, it's a freaking wall. <laughs> minute run down to what I learned. We've got rear steer here, there's front and rear lockers, there's suck down winches, there's forward reverse, not even park, just neutral. There's uh what do you call that? Front, like front and rear dig. Digs where yeah. you can disconnect front and rear drive shaft, skid the wheel, left and right brakes so you can pivot this thing like ultimate control. So we're just gonna go for a crawl first, see how we go. This thing's eco boost, a couple hundred horsepower, light as anything, massive tires, what size are they like 44? 40, 42s. 42s. Yeah. Let's go have some fun. Hey, 
Can they eat? Is it bad enough to happen? Oh, that's a good hit. So they're all climbing up on each other and shit. Mitch is loving it. Dude, these things are wild. No, it was a real good time. Mine actually kind of almost ran out of fuel. They have small fuel tanks. But um, we ran around for probably a good hour, half an hour. So easy. Like, you think it looks hectic, they just do what they do. And you really don't have to worry about them getting over stuff. To be honest, he never even put my rear locker in. Front locked only. That's it. What are you doing? Look at the concentration on him. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely wrecked. I've had a well-deserved beer, so I'll probably get some shots of the competition tonight where they like literally run up that waterfall and then pretty much just got to enjoy it. So uh, super, super stoked. Big shout out to the guys at Superior and all the boys from the uh, comp trucks that let us do this. Uh, yeah, once in a lifetime opportunity. That's the hill they go up. Look at that, munted. Look at that zoom, baby. All right, flying it, get him, get him hot. Alright, the off-road racing last night was pretty badass. We got some shots on the phone when the night stage happened. I didn't have my camera with me, but hopefully we had something that's useful. Today, there's a bunch of different events. Uh, winch challenge, rock crawling, all terrain. We're gonna go suss that out now. Um, I don't know if we'll hang around for the events this afternoon, but we'll see what there is this morning. Just heaps more racing. The big thing with this event is like, one car's trying to do all these different events. So it's, it's yeah, really just trying to change it up of different styles of driving, so we'll see what this morning's about. Everyone's a bit dusty. Mm. It's been a big weekend. Yeah, I'm pretty wrecked. Where pretty are we wrecked. going, actually? A few moments later. All right, we slept in. Uh, apparently that's everyone returning, because we missed it. <laughs> sick. So, yeah, sick. Literally, as we were driving out, they're all coming back. High low of the weekend. Oh yeah, peak and pit for us. Oh, driving the and rock crawling things. A hunt, a and break. that was also your low. No, yeah, to be honest, it was both. <laughs> peak, uh, the rock crawler's low. I had to deal with this one all weekend. Oh, uh, Peak was driving the car and then Pit was... <clears throat> Ark, there's been no Pit, it's just constant Yeah, her, fr <laughs> her frost levels are through the roof 100% of the time. Actually, I had a good pit. Constant Peak. Yeah, what's your Pit? I don't have a Pit, but the Peak driving the crawlers. Yeah, That's like, a we're all on the same yeah. page. Uh, first car coming on. Oh, wait! Woo! Let's go that Pretty much wrap it up there. We got like a four hour drive home, so we're cruising back. There's a couple more stages, but um, yeah, we gotta get back before it's dark with the old Nana's old car. We gotta drop it back to grandma. A big shout out to all the guys out there. Uh, the uh, big shout out to Outlaws, Enduro, and the Superior Boys. 
putting this event on. It's been sick. Definitely back next year. Hopefully with a car too. I want to compete in at least something. Yeah, he's getting up. He's doing it. Oh, dude, that's hectic. 